Rod McKenzie is from the Road Haulage Association and joins us now. Good morning to you, Rod. So what, what does this morning, mean Leslie. for you? Well, I think it's a pragmatic decision. It's a decision that we've been asking the government to make for uh, some time and which they've previously stonewalled on. But uh, in this, what I think is a very significant U-turn, they've accepted that businesses simply cannot cope with recovery from COVID-19 and simultaneously uh, border disruption at the end of the post-Brexit transition period that we're in now, uh, which obviously um, ends ends at the end of this year. So uh, it's pragmatic, it's sensible, but it's only a halfway house because all the issues surrounding uh, border checks coming in the other direction, that's uh, uh, imports, uh, sorry, exports to the EU, um, uh, we need we need this to be reciprocated by the EU side. Otherwise, what we'll get is uh, border queues here as we're trying to export stuff to the EU. So uh, the EU need to move a bit and be, show a bit of flexibility and match us in terms of this six-month uh, transition period. And can you explain how it affects you as well? Well, if you are a business at the moment, uh, you, you firstly, you don't know what forms you'll have to fill in to uh, to get your imports, the things you need to sell or to make things in this country that come from uh, abroad. Um, th that's because the government, because of the failure so far of these free trade association talks with the EU, hasn't been able to tell us um, exactly what forms required to be filled in and, and what data is required. It's very confusing. It's very uncertain. And of course, business needs certainty, never more so than now with COVID. So um, uh, th they were looking at, uh, you know, multiple forms to be filled in, very confusing, very complex. You could easily get it wrong. If you get it wrong, there might be a delay at the border for your staff, which would have a terrible effect potentially on the supply chain. So that's why this is a pragmatic short-term decision but there's a long-term issue we still need to hire 50,000 customs agents to process this new information these new forms these new things that we still don't know about how many did and you say course, rod sorry 50,000 50. customs agents this is a huge operation for your listeners to understand this is a completely different way of trading uh, and and it, we, we get so much of our stuff from abroad and it will need uh, forms filled in and none of which we've had to do in the past. Um, and similarly, the other way, uh, imp it applies to both import and export. But this decision today um, only applies to imports from the EU. Right. Good talking to you. Thank you for explaining that so clearly. Rod McKenzie there from the Road Haulage Association. Thank you for your time this morning.